This is Hope Television, proudly serving the Toledo District. Greetings everyone. With your daily word, I am Patrick Jones. Many people tend to believe that the leadership of a congregation are the people with the strong faith. This is not always the case. And I hope that you will find, it, find your place in today's message, which focuses on the faithful staying faithful. Open your Bible with me to Mark chapter 9, verses 14 to 29. Reading from the New International Version, it says, When they came to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and the teachers of the law arguing with them. As soon as all the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with wonder and ran to greet him. To the casual observer, it would seem that in the church, those in leadership positions are strong in the faith. The elders, the deacons, the preachers, and teachers are those who are solid with their faith. This seems to be the perception that most people have of these individuals within the church. But that is not always the way it is. People who appear to have a strong faith can sometimes end up being weak in the faith. Most of you can recall the falling away from the faith by numerous people. It is a common problem in the church even today. The faithful are in need of more faith. The leaders need more faith. It is a classic problem that is witnessed throughout the church. In the scripture we read earlier, it is a story of a father who has a son with an evil spirit in him. The father brings the son to Jesus and Jesus mentions that if one has faith, then it is possible to cast this demon out of the boy. Typically, we look on this man as being weak in faith. This poor man, he just wants to believe in Jesus so that his son can be healed. We focus on the weak faith of the father. But really, this story is not about the weak faith of the father, but the weak faith of the leaders. It is the leaders that Jesus is upset with and proving a point to. He is pleased with the father who shows the right attitude. The perceived weak father is really the one who has the faith right. Because of the father's faith, Jesus will heal this boy and the evil spirit will come out of him. The problem of faith is not the dad, but the disciples. It is the leaders who are weak not the common people. The first few verses really orient us to what is happening in this story. Mark chapter 9 verses 14 to 19 states, And when they came back to the disciples, they saw a large crowd around them, and uh, some scribes arguing with them. And immediately, when the entire crowd saw him, they were amazed and began running up to greet him. And he asked them, What are you discussing with them? And one of the crowd answered him, Teacher, I brought you my son, possessed with a spirit which makes him mute, and whenever it seizes him, it dashes him to the ground, and he foams at the mouth and grinds his teeth and stiffens out. And I told your disciples to cast it out, and they could not do it. And he answered them and said, O unbelieving generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring him to me. These verses highlight the inability of the disciples to heal the boy. There is an argument taking place between Jesus' disciples and the scribes. Probably the scribes are giving the disciples a difficult time because of their inability to heal the boy. The scribes are questioning the power of Jesus and the faith of the disciples. Imagine the embarrassment of the disciples. The disciples are trying to heal this boy but do not have enough faith. The scribes are mocking the disciples, and there is a huge argument. Jesus now gets involved and discovers what is happening. 
The boy has a demon, and the disciples cannot heal him or drive out the demon. Look at Jesus' response in verse 19. Jesus is upset and annoyed by the religious leaders. The them could be directed at the scribes and disciples. It is not the boy or the father that Jesus is annoyed with. Jesus cannot believe the lack of faith in the disciples and the religious leaders. The disciples, those who are to take off the ministry of Christ when he is gone, seem to lack a strong faith. It is the leaders that are letting the Lord down. It is the perceived spiritual giants that have a mouse-sized faith. This spiritual weakness in leadership is one of the present problems in the church today. A lot of us who sit in the pews at church are looking for the leadership to guide a congregation into the future. People are looking to the ministers, the elders, the older saints to lead the charge into Satan's camp. Believers, we who sit in the pews can take up the charge. Our senior pastors need our help just as much as we need each other. Our senior pastors face many of the same challenges that we face. They too need our prayers and they need us to stand in the gap with them and for them. Brothers and sisters, let's continue to keep each other in prayer. You pray for me as I pray for you. And don't forget the neighbors and the deacon, the praise team leader, the drummer, the keyboard player, the cleaner. If we keep each other in prayer, what a strong group of missionaries for Jesus we will be. A prayed up church is a force that nothing on earth can push around lightly. Have a blessed day, everyone. Then join us again next time for another Daily Word.